Hi guys, Susanna Easdale here. Um, here are a couple of um, journal covers which I've done with my um, artwork. Um, this is not um, hand painted original, well it's my original artwork but it's um, it's being scanned onto high quality paper. It is my artwork but it's being scanned and put on. So um, I've got my other hand painted ones which are coming a bit later down the track. Um, this first, and these are just journal covers. Um, I got inspired by Artie Mazer's um, A Winter's Tale. So um, this one is about five and a half by eight. And it's got my original um, Snowy Owl on there. And then that, here's that really pretty... Um, What's that stuff? All that wool stuff that I sewed on. I only put a little bit on the bottom. Um, I've put the spine on there. On the next one, I didn't put it on. I, that way, you could probably do a false back. But um, yeah, I'll put it on there. But if you, you could you may be able to do a false back in there anyway. But um, here's a snowy owl which I got from an old vintage um, world animal encyclopedia book. So quite happy with how that turned out. I kept the blue which was part of um, the original book and on the inside move this over um, I made some um, ephemera and that's from that book again that from where the snowy owl come from encyclopedia of animals and that was wolves in the snow I thought I wanted to do sort of snowy animals and this has got from Edith Holden we woke up to a snowy Christmas, another fall of snow, like this is her diary. And that just matched a tiny little bit, bit to uh, do some journaling. And then I just put that in there because it matches and it's blue. This is um, a vintage doily which I've um, sewn onto the fabric and then glued down. And then here's another Edith Holden which has got December, the only sort of, and then sort of thing in there, and it's got a little birdie in there, and it's sort of so cute. And this from my other one from that book that I had, but I wanted to get all sort of wintry animals. That's winter, and that's what it looks like in summer, so it must change its fur for the season. So it's a, um, oh geez, I don't know how to say that. It looks like some sort of weasel. And this is a little lemming. So they're all sort of like journaling cards. So I thought I'd put them in there. Tried to find the winter. It wasn't a great deal of wintry animals, but um, yeah, so I'm rather happy with how that has turned out. Um, it would suit the uh, Artie Mays um, papers. So um, yeah, I got inspired by that. I was going to put some of the papers in there but I will probably do another one for that and have a full journal whereas this one's just the journal cover so that's that one and then really love this one this one I didn't I didn't put the cover in there oh, but I've got it in the back here we go oh going everywhere sorry guys so I've I've um inked it up and I've got it there so when you can put your signatures in and then you can um, put that over the top of it. This one I got um, from Edith Holden, Nature's Charms. I just thought it was really cute. I didn't want it to be snowy but it's more nature-y. Um, loved this fabric and it's another one of my um, original artworks. And on the inside, this is very, I've got this is Edith Holden. I've got in there and then just another one because it looked really pretty sort of naturey and that one as well from an old vintage gardener's book whereas this one is actually got um, the blue tip which is what this bird is here um, and some robins and then there the blue tits in there even it's even got that written underneath and that's just got a bit of journaling paper Normally I'd reinforce it and line it, but the paper was beautiful both sides, so I thought I wanted to utilise both. So mainly got it because of the the, the blue tits on there. So 
really love that and this beautiful vintage lace which is so delicate and pretty and lovely lined on the inside I rather like this one so that's another one for you to journal yourself as well just the cover because it um, from Australia it just costs so much cheaper just to do a cover and it still gives you guys a bit more work to do yourself well, let's put that in and then this one is my one which is what I worked on um, I did end up putting that on there and then put a little bit underneath there so I'm going to put the RDMA's winter's tail in there so I'll just put that there just shove these in there for now um, and this is how it dried so this will be my one um, which I'm going to use the the winter's tail for so still got um, that other really big one which you want to make into an art folder and um, yes yeah, so I've just got a bit to go I've been really busy um, this weekend I went to a um, an art class and um, I'll just pause it and then I'm going to show you what my um, finished product was it was a little uh, rat baby raccoon so I'll um, I'll show you that in a minute okay thanks guys Hey, I'm back again I did this it's hanging on my wall in the kitchen so um, I did this artwork for um, Grace Bailey's prophetic art workshop so um, it was a really good I really enjoyed it. I just love how it turned out wouldn't mind doing this one on a um, not quite so detailed because there's acrylic on canvas but I thought I just but I loved it that much I thought I'd share it on the end of this um, this this video okay guys thank you very much for watching and um, I'll catch you a little bit later okay bye